Meet Terry and Carrie. They want an RV. Really, they want the freedom that comes with being able to pick up whenever they want and to move from one breathtaking view to another. The kind of freedom that takes them across the country and beyond, living their dream. But if they buy the wrong RV, it might actually pop their dream world. Maybe they pick one that's too heavy to tow for their vehicle. Or go with the wrong dealership who won't service their RV. There are questions to ask before they buy, and even more once they become an owner. Thankfully, there's the RV Advisor, the only non-biased platform for information for the RV and outdoor enthusiasts. Get the best tips, tricks, and discounts at all KOA nationwide campgrounds and other huge discounts that every RV enthusiast will love. Now, Terry and Carrie are living the life exactly how they want. Join the RV Advisor family and enjoy everything you need to maximize your RV experience. Little birdie told me I need RV advice. Get information straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> It's Just Ask Gigi with Gigi Stetler and Tom Alexander. Now here's Gigi and Tom. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Just Ask Gigi. My name is Tom Alexander. And as always, Hi. I'm joined, there she is, by the one, the only Gigi Stetler. Hey, Gigi, how's it going? It's grand. How are you? Going, going very well, thanks. Um, good, good. Been a, been a crazy week, uh, and I, we're only... Well, we Wednesday. record this on Wednesday and uh, air it on Thursday, but it's it's uh, it's it's intense to say the least. Um, not only uh, here at the uh, RV Advisor, but of course, you know, there's a lot of uh, people out there uh, nervous and wondering uh, <laughs> about the yeah. election too. So it's been a, it's been a hair raising to say the least. Ex extremely. I actually. I guess call me stupid. I was watching until four oh four this morning. Yeah. And then I I don't even think I didn't I finally had to turn it off so I could go to sleep, which yeah. was and then I popped up like a pop tart at like a few minutes to seven. Ooh, and yeah, started that's not all over sleep. again. And I, no, 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 no. That's not enough sleep. I mean, I was in the same boat. I was up with my son and we were watching it pretty late. Not quite till four, but it was pretty late. <laughs> um maybe till about three and uh yeah I just I finally said to myself no I can't do this anymore I really <laughs> need get, I need to get some sleep um uh we don't we don't do politics on the show but we can at least no, comment on we don't. <laughs> but at least we could comment on the fact that we were engaged we could say that much right yeah. so and, so and, and no matter what party you're 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 in, in with um it, I, it, I believe it's the most important election in my time and our time, I think, that I think we've ever had anything. It, so it's a big one. There's no, so, there's, there's no yeah. doubt. I don't. I think you get agreement on that point from from everybody. It is important. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I know there's a lot going on, and um. I know that this week alone, you've been dealing with uh, GPS. Of course, that's Gigi's personal service and per services plural. <laughs> um. Uh, and I know that, you know, a lot of times, and this comes up a lot, it's like, w woulda, coulda, shoulda, right? You know, uh, you kind of get into those situations yeah. where if only you had had insurance prior to something, or if you'd had the, <laughs> ask the right questions or gotten the right advice before you had uh, a crisis uh, befall you. So, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about what's going on there. I, I kind of consider myself as like... Um buying health insurance, you know, <laughs> so in case that incident happens, you're covered. Um, right. Not that I'm an insurance policy, but uh, I, I have, I think, just six this week, and it's only Wednesday that I'm, I'm juggling right now, and I take it personal, personally, like all of uh, the members that, that um, engage me, um, it's personal. Um, you know, I, I, I get so angry about some of the shenanigans that are pulled and all six of my uh, members that I'm working with this week, all of them said, God, I wish I would have met you first. <laughs> I wish I would have met you first. I wish I, wish I would have hired you first because, uh, you know, I'm trying to unwind, you know, things that are done and, and, 
and you know there's 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 so much there's there's so much to know and and I like um some of them you know the ones that that did hire me last week actually you know we 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 gained some ground and and all of my my uh customers are are happy and the dealers are happy and you know so that that last week kind of went went well and then this week <laughs> i went the opposite where everybody was calling me to to bail them out and I'll, and you know there's some stuff like um or they're not get you know where it's a defective product or something wrong with the product leaking this that and you know they're kind of caught in the middle of the blame game where the factory's blaming or the dealer's blaming the manufacturer the manufacturer's blaming the dealer you know, in the meantime, you know, the customer's in the middle and doesn't know what to do. And, right. and, uh, and, you know, I, 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 I've been in both spots. So I, you know, I've been a little bit on the manufacturing side, but of course I've been on, you know, on the dealership side and both, you know, in a situation with, you know, fighting with the factories and stuff. So, um, I can tell, and I know, you know, I know that like in one particular instance that, that, a dealer was extremely negligent on, you know, while they had the RV in their possession before they sold it. Something, something you've got to, you guys have got to really, really pay attention to, you know, when you're, when you're looking at these leftover models, um, like 2019s that are leftover, mm -hmm. these aren't like cars where, you know, they're, they're just, you know, they're built in the warranties and all that stuff. It's, and these leftover 19s, you have to look at the date of manufacture, which is going to be on the sticker on the outside where the GVWR weight is um, on the off, on the driver's side towards the front. It's going to tell you the manufacture date. So, for instance, this one camper that the guy thought it was just, you know, a leftover, you know, bought it in March of 2020, um, you know, uh, 2019 was only three months away, you know, so not, not thinking, it, you know, it's that that old yeah. um it doesn't go like calendar year anything that's meant that's um that is titled a 2019 most likely was built between late january and february of 2019 so so now you take that you know and from when the you know the guy purchased it which is 12 to 14 months later right that thing's been sitting around a long time yeah and the one thing the manufacturers tell you in their owner's manual which nobody ever reads but it'll tell you that that it needs maintenance and sealant and caulking and dicor and uh slide adjustments all of these things within 90 days but it doesn't a purchase so it doesn't really say it's your purchase it can't be your purchase because it's obviously telling you that because it's sitting in the weather for 90 days you know because when they're built they're built with putty tape as i've said before but they're also you know bounced down the road you know coming from from the factory you know jarring all the seals and gaskets loose so yeah you know it's obviously 90 days from the date the dealer purchased it <laughs> So the maintenance probably should have been done in, you know, March, April, May of 2019. Anyway, long story short, the thing is full of water, soaking wet, leaking, ruined, full of mold. Hmm. Just, you know, the, the two weeks after he picked it up. And now, of course, the dealer's blaming the factory, the factory's blaming the dealer, and this and that, and... And actually, Poor I don't even know if I can blame in the dealer. It, it's but yeah. in the meantime, the customer, you know, has a camper full of mold and has used it three times. So, right. yeah. you know, had he had hired me first, which he's regretting, I would have, I would have done a FaceTime with him to check all the seals and gaskets, as I did last week with with a customer that hired me before they went to inspect the coach. And we went on FaceTime, and I looked at all the seals on this thing, and I said, "You need to get that dealer to seal it." It is a 2019 leftover and it, it is the original factory caulking and uh, which is putty tape and the dealer agreed to do it and they did it. Well, you know, you there know, you so, go. I mean, that's, yeah. And that's the key. It's, it's, it's preventative medicine folks. That's basically what yeah. the best way to describe it. Uh, it's GPS. It's Gigi's personal services. And uh, if you want to learn more about Gigi's personal services, just simply go to the RV advisor.com. 
the rvadvisor.com gps yes. that's where you want to go uh Gigi, we've got some questions for you and uh we're going to get to those in just a moment but first this break you're watching just ask Gigi. she's Gigi stentler i'm tom alexander back in just a moment The RVACA is a charitable organization protecting the rights of the RV owners. We'll work with dealers and manufacturers to ensure quality control is in place prior to delivery of an RV. Additionally, the RVACA provides assistance to disaster relief victims. Visit RVACA.org. We are back on Just Ask Gigi along with Gigi Stetler. There she is. Uh, I'm Tom <laughs> Alexander. And um, Gigi, um, we've got a couple of questions for you. Um, uh, a lady named Becky writes, uh, we've been planning for over a year. By the way, I should point out that Becky was, uh, she found us through the RV Odd Couple. Oh, hey, so, Becky. So there you go, right? You're an um, odd squatter. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. Um, we've been planning for over a year and decided to buy a 2016 Tiffin Bus 45 Op or OP, in uh, 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 March. She, she, they they want to buy it next March. We have so many questions and know it will most likely uh, be bought outside of our home state of Texas, which uh, will continue to be our domicile, uh, domicile state. And uh, so she says, what are, you know, first of all, I should point out that she's got about seven or eight questions here she wants to ask you, but we'll just ask the first one, the most general question. What are the steps to buying out of our state? What are some of the, the main steps of buying outside the state, whether in her case, Texas? GPS. <laughs> Very simple. There you go. It's uh, <laughs> you, Really, you're going to need to, uh, GG, look, not, she's got a lot of questions here. And, do and, not and, buy something. Uh, well, first off, if you're, if you're looking at a 2016 that you're going to purchase in, in March of 21, the chances of that thing still sitting around are slim to none. And if it is sitting around, that's sitting around for that long, then there's something wrong with it um, mm. because there's nothing sitting around. Um, so it's kind of hard to look at a used vehicle, you know, that, that far out. So, um, but please hire me before you do anything. That's what I do. Let me help you. Let me find the right coach for you. Let me help you make sure the deal is right. The, whoever you're going to buy it from. I can do everything from, you know, escrow money if you're buying it private, whatever. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, let us let us do what we do. Let yeah, me do I'm, what I do. There you go. And so the questions that she she's wanting to get the answers to, uh, you can answer all of them. And they include about getting inspections done and taking possession and uh, uh, buying a private from a private seller versus a, a dealership so so on and so forth so yeah. you got your work cut out for you uh gg once hopefully uh becky signs up for uh for yes GPS. Please, becky, don't don't um don't do that on your own i yeah. mean I, I don't you put it this way you'll end up hiring me either before or after but it makes my job a whole lot easier if you hire me before because after and you want me to unwind things and you know get into legal you know or you know mitigation losses and all of that it's it's a nightmare so yeah please please hire me first <laughs> what is it an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure whatever that yeah, is something like that yeah uh, yeah and I, in this case it's it's very very true in most cases right it's very true yeah we have a, a, another question. This is from Robert. Now he's referring to uh, an article that he saw in uh, rvpioneers.com and it talks about uh, a review of uh, the RV advisors roadside assistance. And it has it listed as miles towed of 100 miles. Is this a mistake he asks? Yes. It is a it, mistake. It's actually a mistake. It Whoever wrote the article or published it, um, which you know I, I, I appreciated, the, the article was great. And I mean, it was not only my my our roadside assistance, but it was other companies as well. Mm -hmm. And if you read the top of of the review, he actually quotes that it's unlimited towing uh, to the nearest service center. 
Um, and then on the bottom, he puts 100 miles. So it's, he contradicted himself in his own story. So we reached out to the author of that to have it corrected because someone else had brought it to my attention actually a couple of days ago. So um, it is, and everyone is the same where, well, not everyone, but uh, if you have unlimited towing, what unlimited towing means is to the nearest service center, certified service center. So you can't, you know, if there's a service center across the street and you want to take it to Billy Bob 400 miles away, yeah. you know, that's not really their obligation. Now you, a lot of times these tow truck, these tow truck guys, um, they're paid anyway, like to do what, what, what they do. Yeah. Um, paid through the roadside assistance insurance policy. So a lot of times when I've, I've known it to happen um, and you want to go a little bit further or something like that, you throw the guy at 20 and he'll go, <laughs> 20 will get you a long way. And, and that's, that's if you want to do something different than what you're, you know, what they're obligated to do. Right. Gotcha. You know, in fact, that happened with me, my, my own personal situation, my, my, uh, my Tesla had a, had a, flat at a nail in a tire and it was a Sunday mm -hmm. and my my car is covered and I they arrived at my house in eight minutes to tow my car and the nearest tire place was five minutes away but they didn't have my tire in stock so I would have had to have left my car there overnight so there was another one that was like 35 40 minutes away and I slipped the guy at 20 and, all, and my car and I followed my car to that place and I had my tire done at no charge because I had tire and wheel and uh, and I was back on the road. So right. it does work. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we uh, thank Becky and we thank Robert for their questions. If you uh, have a question for Gigi right here on Just Ask Gigi, very simple. It's uh, info at thervadvisor.com, info at thervadvisor.com, and uh, just uh, tag the subject J-A-G, or just ask Gigi, very simple, and then uh, we'll make sure to get your question answered from, from Gigi Stetler. We are going to wrap things up in just a moment. This is Just Ask Gigi. She is Gigi Stetler. I'm Tom Alexander. We'll see you in just a moment. RV owners and those thinking about owning want to maximize the fun and minimize the hassle of buying an RV? You need GPS. It's Gigi's personal service. Our $350 package gets you me, the expert advice, and a host of outstanding services. Visit thervadvisor.com. Wrapping things up right now on Just Ask Gigi along with Gigi Stetler. I am Tom Alexander and uh, Gigi, uh, as always, uh, we like to call our uh, followers' attention to not only the site, the, the rvadvisor.com site, which is important, uh, and uh, certainly um, you can learn about all our services, as well as uh, some pretty cool content on there, too. Um, but uh, we want to let folks, remind folks about the RVACA. Um, yeah. RVACA.org is the place to go, RVACA.org, and that is uh, what aspires to be your voice in Washington someday alongside the dealers and the manufacturers who do have a table in uh, the district. Uh, we're looking to do the same thing for you, the RV consumer, uh, because mm -hmm. it's, it's important uh, that you, your voice is heard. But until we get that uh, yep. seat at the table, uh, there's a lot we can do, but we need your help too. Um, we can help you, but you, you you can help us by becoming a member, signing up, getting your, your unit registered as well. Smart move right there. Yeah. And of course, another thing is, and we have for several months been telling you, uh, and believe me, with a third wave of, of COVID coming, the fight is not over, folks. Our friends, our yeah. courageous folks on the front lines battling COVID, the medical personnel, need to isolate. It's important that they're uh, safe, too, in their battle against COVID. And, uh, of course, uh, your anything uh, helps in terms of monetary help. But if you have also a unit you can lend temporarily, uh, 
and, and uh, let it be an isolation unit for these folks. And, uh, and, and believe me, I'm, I know the medical personnel are just absolutely grateful yeah. for, for that sacrifice and, and uh, joining the cause, if you will, in uh, battling this thing. Um, it is, uh, unfortunately, it's not going to go away tomorrow. Um, but, you know, we're working like toward it, it and, and we'll see where, where it all goes and we'll see what 2021 brings. But there's some rounds left in the fight. And yes, uh, we, we, can, we can certainly use your help. Again, rvaca.org. Gigi, anything else you'd like to uh, add as we uh, wrap another show? No, obviously my phone is blowing up. So <laughs> Yeah, we hear it. I heard the ding, ding, ding. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot yeah. to hit the silent button. And uh, no, I'm good. And, you know, I, I can't wait to do some action out in the field. It's just been, well, we've had so much water. and uh, it's I know, you know, I, I, got a, I got a chance to uh, take a run over there the other day and I did see it. And boy, you know, yeah, you got, you got waterfront property there right now. Um, it's yeah, not I supposed think to be waterfront property, no. but. Uh, no, we're going to start selling boats soon. But I'm you telling can, you. You came on Friday. It was. It's already halfway down. You should have seen it last weekend. I'll you bet. couldn't even get down the street. You, you couldn't get. There were so many cars broken down on the street. They, yeah. they, you know, they went through the flood and just died in the street. Hmm. So it was. Yeah, insane. that's a that's a kind of a little a bit of a a, a low lying area that sort of uh, traps a lot of water. And and uh, when, yeah. when when it rains, it pours. Uh, <laughs> it pours and it and it stays. And it, it floods. It, it it floods. It certainly does. So uh, yeah. yeah. But I'm glad it's uh, beginning to recede and, and you know. Till this we're, weekend, they're anticipating maybe a hurricane. Um. I, I know, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's like, what, what is going on? This year is just relentless. It is, it's, it's been unbelievable. But uh, as we say, brighter days ahead. Yeah. Well, Gigi, thanks again. And uh, we'll, uh, we will see you again next time on, and, mm -hmm. on Just Ask Gigi. And of course, all our our viewers as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Stay safe. Stay well. See you next time. So long, everybody. Peace out, everyone.